Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more juicy content from me. If you are a new author, avoid these five mistakes. Hi, my name is Dr. Shala Ezel Coley, and I, amongst many things, am an author coach. I help um, people who are writers, first time authors, self publish their books. Um, here are some examples of some of my clients. This is um, Dr. Uh, sorry, Gloria Joy Sherrod. Book your rag body with Speak Life. Um, another book here, Living Foolproof by Dr. Simoyan. This is my book, my first and only poetry book. This is also my book. This is another book, You Make My Heart Sing. And these are just a few of the many books that I have helped people publish. Um, I've helped, over the years, I've helped um, over 20 um, people, 20 authors self-publish their books and um, have successful book releases. So if you want, if you're interested in publishing a book, please contact me. But today I'm going to talk about um, five pitfalls new authors must avoid um, in order to be successful. So um, these are some of the pitfalls that I've seen over the many years that I've been doing this, both writing and publishing my own books and helping people publish theirs. Um, the first one is neglecting the target audience. Okay. Now I was having a conversation with somebody a while back and I said, so who are you writing for? And the, the person told me everybody. I said, then you're writing for nobody. You have to focus on a group and don't be scared about leaving um, people out. Don't worry. When those people see, oh, what have they got? They will come running. Um, the, the, my more successful books have been books that were targeted, one targeted to women and other targeted to physicians. Um, so if you neglect your target audience, then you, your book will not do well. It will not be able, you, you won't be able to make it stand out above the noise. So is your book for women? Is it for men? Is it for children? Is it for doctors? Is it for policemen? Is it for, um, women aged 20 to 25? As you know, the more specific you can get with a niche, the better for you. And you should be able to speak the language of your niche audience so that um, you can re your book can properly resonate with them. And when I say speak the language, I don't mean a language like English, French, or Spanish. I mean the words they use, the, the jargon that they speak in, and so on and so forth. Number two, another pitfall that um, trips authors up is overlooking the importance of editing. I drum this into the heads of my authors. I don't care how good your English is. Make sure you invest in a professional editor. And in fact, if you have any, um, any work that you want editing, I have, a, I, I will be leaving the um, contacts of my favorite, my favorite editor, um, who has edited a lot of my work and my client's work, I will leave that in the show notes and in the comments so that you can, um, you know, if you do have something, a professional editor, uh, um, if you're looking for a professional editor, um, you have something that you want edited, by all means, go and contact her. Don't rush to publish. Don't rush to print. Don't, don't rush. Don't rush. Another mistake I've seen authors make is poor cover quality. Okay, so, you know, um, there are places where you can get free book covers, some platform, uh, publishing platform, where you get free book covers. Stay away from those things. Because guess what? What happens when something free is offered? Everybody uses it. So, you know, you have uh, people with so many different books with the same cover. That is terrible. Invest in a good quality cover and a good 
cover for your book um, actually makes your makes your number one not only makes your book stand out but it makes you even have more confidence in the book look at these covers this this is beautiful you make my heart sing this is a beautiful cover um here's another one this is my proof copy of my own book free to be with my picture up there you know you you have to invest in good quality covers um number four is it number three or number, number four um failing to handle rejection properly okay every author goes through a rejection you know there is it's like you know eh, whatever everybody ain't gonna like your book and it's fine you're not for everybody and you shouldn't be you know as an author you should be you know for some people and not for all um so if on the way you know you get um, rejected or, you know, oh, they, they're not interested in your book. Um, I remember a few years back, I handed my book to someone with the hope that, you know, if, if they liked it, they would recommend it and all that. And later on, I saw my book, um, you know, it was just left there next to a trash can. Ooh, that stung, but I was like, well, I guess this isn't the way to get my book out there. And not long after that, we, you know, with the right kind of advice and mentoring, my book became a bestseller on Amazon. So rejection is part of the journey. It's part of the journey as an author. It's part of the journey of life. Don't take it too hard because if you allow rejection to knock you off your perch, then you, you will not have the, the stamina and the mental fortitude to step forward into the next thing and go on to the next, on to the next. I always tell people, um, you know, if you, no means next. <laughs> In fact, tell me the no quickly so I can move on to the next person. No means next. So um, that is number four. Number five, um, underestimating the time and effort required. Look, to write a book is not easy because if it was, everybody would be doing it. So here's the deal, you know, you, 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 you have to have a realistic expectation of what you're able to accomplish. Um, for example, let's say you're somebody who goes, um, you know, who, who is very, um, very detailed focused. It, it will probably take you a bit longer because you'll be paying d just that more attention to detail. There's nothing wrong with being detail focused, but when you know yourself and you, um, and you look at the amount of work you have to do, you're able to come up with some realistic uh, expectations. For example, if you want to write a five chapter book or you want to write a 15 chapter book, the five chapter book is likely, pretty likely to be the shorter, uh, is, is likely to be a shorter book than a 15 chapter book. So, you know, um, it, it, it takes time. It takes time. But I have a secret for writing a book. If you write, for 30 minutes a day, assuming you write 500 words. In three months, you will have a beautiful and decent sized book. In six months, you will have two books. So if you break that down and write it, write for 250 words a day, in six months, you'll have a decent sized book. Just start, just keep going, just start writing. You may not have the luxury of going on an away vacation and take a month off and move to the Himalayas to write your book most people don't it's going to be part and parcel of your life just carve out that time and that discipline to write your book so i'm going to do a recap of five mistakes that um, new authors make that uh, negatively impact their success number one neglecting the target audience don't neglect your target audience pick a niche number two overlooking the importance of editing Number three, overlooking the importance of a beautiful cover. Number four, failing to handle rejection properly. And last but not the least, underestimating the time and effort that it will take to write a book. So thank you very much for watching or listening. If you, if you, if you want to write a book, if you want to write and publish your book, just like uh, these books that I was holding up um, contact me. There's a link in the show notes and the comments. Just click the link, visit our website and book a call and let us start your journey to becoming a published author.
Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.